what's happening everyone so today I have a small update video for you guys um, and this is going to be how to install LCPD first response and Grand Theft Auto now what you're going to need is you're going to need a copy of GTA my copy is in C program files by 86 Steam I have the Steam version common um, Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto IV now this is a fresh copy of GTA which I highly recommend you have and what I also recommend you have is a backup an original backup of GTA just in case you screwed any folders and you know your game crashes a lot or it crashes on startup and stuff I suggest you have a backup so if you don't have a backup make your backup now before you modify any files Okay, so before we start doing anything here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find our way over to the LCPD First Response website. And my Google is moving kind of slow. Alright, there. LCPD First Response. There it goes. Once you're on the website, go up to Downloads. Scroll down to G17 media modifications and you can go LCPD first response or you can even you'll see it right here should be right here so we're gonna go RC2 or you can get RC1 if you like alright here's all the uh, information you need to, uh, to know you can look through that if you want to so we're going to hit download ok and agree and download now I already have that downloaded so I'm going to go CPD oh, sorry um, let's see oh, my god one second go download okay here it is 095 RC2 you get uh you get that launch folder here so you're gonna right click and you're gonna run as administrator it's gonna tell you all that good stuff okay, next now right here you're gonna need dot net framework for full profile and visual C plus plus twenty ten the distributable plus the legitimate copy of GTIV and game for Windows Live. Once you have all these things, you'll see all these uh, green uh, arrow ticks right here. If you don't have um, any one of these, it's gonna have a uh, red X next to it, so you know you immediately know the problem. And I'll include links for the framework and uh, redistributable, and also game for Windows Live in the description for you. Okay, so we're gonna hit next. Now we're gonna insert our destination folder. So we're gonna go browse. My own is uh, computer C program files by 86 Steam Steam apps com Grand Theft Auto IV GTA IV. I hit OK. Now we're gonna hit next. Now here you need to click these two. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but you have to download them separately. So I suggest you click them. Now, X Liveless ASI Loader. If you tick this, as you see here, it's not recommended. You won't be able to play online. You won't be able to play multiplayer as X Liveless removes Game for Windows Live from your game, so you don't you don't get to go online at all. Okay, so I really don't recommend you clicking that because sooner or later you're going to want to play online. And we have the taser here. Okay, someone just texted me. <laughs> Alright, we're going to hit next. Alright, so configure LCP first response. Now we have hardcore mode, which uh, makes gameplay exceedingly difficult and has known to challenge the developers. Enable at your own peril. Now you can enable this or you can leave this. Uh, you can leave that how it is. 
call out. You call out to random events within Liberty City that require police attention. During gameplay, you may be offered a call out which you, which you can respond to or ignore. Some people find these annoying and although they can be toggled in game by pressing F8, you may you may disable them altogether here now. Clicking this will disable all your call outs, you won't get any call outs. I think you can put it back on. Yeah, you can toggle it back on when you get in the game. Okay, so we're gonna hit next. Um you don't have to have this. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit next again. And we're gonna see that setup complete. Installation successful. Now hit next. What you can do what you can do is uh, see the full list of all the keys or if you don't want to uh, do that to see the keys you can simply go to your game directory let me show you real quick Steam apps, common. open up the scripts folder you'll get this folder double click uh, first response dot ini that's the configuration so you can uh, you can see controls here okay you can see controls you can also change hardcore and you can take off um, you can take off your call outs through here uh, the number of world events preload all models use alternate target detection you know those stuff so you can see most of the keys here that's that's that not all the keys but it's a good bit of them you can go up on the website and, uh, and get the keys now one main problem that people have with um, installing LCPD first response is a um, when they go in game the traffic they only see taxis now a simple fix for this go back on the LCPD first response website okay go up to downloads there and go to community modifications you can hit script and data file modifications and scroll through and we're gonna look for some different mods here. Um, there's realistic time cycle, which um, gives you a real time cycle, like you know, daytime more cars, nighttime less cars, that kind of stuff. Okay. So I think we're gonna go down to the last page to find traffic flow. Here it is, traffic flow. I'll put a direct link for you so that you don't have to uh, go through all that. You just be at this page. So this is the uh, this is the fix for the taxis. So yeah, and basically that's that's that. Uh, you can now install uh, some different scripts and stuff like that. Once you once you follow those instructions that I just gave you. Um, the game should, uh, LCP first response should work. When you're in game, just hit Alt P, and that should work. Um, if it doesn't work, or if you get any errors or game crashes or anything, you can kindly uh, send me a message. Don't leave a comment about it because you might not see the comment, you know. So I'll prefer you sending me a message or leaving a comment on my channel itself so that I make sure and see it so I can address your problem so that's it for today guys if you enjoyed the video just don't forget to click the like button subscribe for more and enjoy the rest of your day good luck